Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm now answering, um, upon the request of a student, question number 17 from the chapter review um, for chapter 5 of the Sequences and Series textbook for the International A-Level Pure Mathematics P2 and this is an Excel book. This question is about this called a recurrence relationship AN plus 1 equals 1 over AN and they told us that the first term A1 equals P. We've got to show that the sequence is periodic and state its order. Okay, so the only way to do that basically is to generate the first few terms of the sequence. So we know that A1 is equal to P. Okay, um, now A2, if you look at the pattern here, you just have to, to find A2, you do 1 divided by the term before, it, which is A1. So that's going to give you 1 over P. Okay, so we know that um, A1 equals P and A2 equals 1 over P. All right, so let's see what the third term is going to give us. You're going to have A3 is equal to 1 over A2, which is 1 over 1 over P. If you think about that, that's 1 divided by 1 over P, which is 1 times P over 1, which is P. So we can see A3 is going to be P, and we can see now that it's just going to repeat because, of course, A4 is going to be 1 over A3, which is 1 over P. So you can see that this is a sequence that's going to keep repeating as you're going to start with P, then you'll have 1 over P, then you'll have P, then you'll have 1 over P. It's periodic. Okay, it repeats, so therefore it's periodic. And the order of the the order of the um, periodic sequence is equal to two because each two terms keep repeating. Okay, it repeats after two terms. So that's part A, pretty simple. Um, okay, that's done. And then it says find the sum of the terms from the first to the thousandth term of this sequence in terms of p. So basically what we have to do is add together the first thousand terms of the sequence. So it's going to be p plus 1 over p plus p plus 1 over p plus da 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 all the way till you got to the thousandth uh, you know, term. You add them all together. Well, of course, if you have a thousand terms and you know there's p's and 1 over p's only, you're going to have 500 p's and you're going to have 500 1 over p's so basically you can leave your answer like this 500 p plus 500 over p if you want to you could also take out 500 as a factor i guess so you could say 500 times p plus 1 over p you could write it like that you could leave it like that leave it like that that's fine you could also write this as as one fraction you could have 500 and you can write this as p and that will be p squared plus 1. You could write it like that if you want. Okay, and that would also be correct. But you know, this, if you're writing the, these two ways, is fine. Okay, so there you have um, the answer to that question. It's not that difficult. It's pretty simple. That's part A and part B, and that was the whole question. So there we, ha um, there we are. That's a nice short answer. It's a periodic sequence, order 2. And the sum is, if there's a, the first thousand terms you want to add together, well, if there's a thousand terms and there's p's and 1 over p's only, 500 of them will be p, and 500 of them will be 1 over p. So there's your sum of the first thousand terms. So there we have it. Thank you for watching, and um, see you soon.